Hi everyone, it's Kim with Card Creations by Kim.com and I'm kind of in the Thanksgiving mood, jumping the gun, but I'm sitting here making these um, tags using um, a couple different products. I thought I'd share them with you. The first thing I did was I cut out um, this tag at um, four inches using the Cricut Cartridge Lovely Floral. It's that cut right there. <clears throat> I'm using the um, Hero Arts Polyclear. I'm using this maple leaf and this saying, may the blessings of Thanksgiving fill your hearts at home. Um, I've got my embossing ink pad. Um, I'm going to also be using the Pearl X. If you have not had a chance to play with these, I suggest you do so. It's a blast. I'm going to be using some ribbon from uh, Joann's, Ribbon Off Fray, I guess they call it, and it's real easy to work with. Um, and then I just have some embossing powder that's in bronze and also in black. And I got that in a set of that's got like 12 different um, uh, embossing powders. Okay, so the first thing you want to do so that you get all the static out when you're embossing is to rub your embossing pad around there. Then I'm going to take the maple leaf, get it pretty good and wet, stamp here, stamp here, stamp here, and I'll put one oh, right here. Okay, then the next thing I'm going to do is use my black powder. Move my camera over just a little bit. And, well, actually, no, I'm going to use my bronze for this. Sorry about that. My black is for the wording. So I'm just going to sprinkle the powder. Oh, kind of chunky. Not sure why. This is brand new. If you know why it got chunky, let me know. For those who do embossing, make sure that it gets it covered real good. I just kind of flick it a little bit. You probably can't see that. Um... Basically, I just put the embossing powder over this. That looks a little thick, but let's see how that's going to turn out. Got my embossing heating gun. Turn that on and let it heat up for a couple minutes. I'm try to keep it away from all my powders. I'm going to go ahead and turn it on it. And you can see the bronze color turns out real nice. See how it lightens up a little bit? There you go. I guess it's okay. It's not too thick. All right. Very nice. Turn my heater off. Then I'm going to come over here and I'm going to get my very teeny tiny paintbrush. Get a little bit wet. And I'm going to do a purple one first. Put my black over here. And I'm basically just going to you can see this paint in between the little leaves don't be afraid to make it thick get a little bit wet painting and painting I'm doing this very quickly because I just noticed the battery on my camera is going dead painting it in go all the way in the crevices wash it off go to your green same thing and I'm going to paint uh, this one green real quick again, trying to beat the battery. See if the thicker you put it, the brighter it gets too, which is real pretty. You want to keep your paintbrush wet. Okay, and then I'm going to go with my gold. Keeping my paintbrush wet, I'm going to make this one real thick. I like the gold. It turns out very pretty. With my paintbrush. I'm using my embossing powder lid for the water. There we go. Alrighty, very quick again. I'm doing this real quickly. Okay, um, then you're going to take your heat gun again and you're going to set the Prolex like so. Very nice. 
See that? Oh, it's so pretty. Okay, put that down. I'm gonna take my, oh, I spilled my black powder. That is not good because I'm rushing. Okay, then I'm gonna take my um, tag like this. Push down real hard because you want that to be clear. And then my black powder that's spilled, I'm gonna put that on my words here. Okay. Knock a little bit of that off. I even boss that one more time. Ooh, I'm not sure if I like that. E didn't turn out very good. Let's put some more on there. Okay, that should be good. Turn my heater on. Again, away from the embossing powder. Look at how that turns out. Oh, it's just so cute. Real quick too, isn't it? Okay, then I'm gonna take my gold ribbon. Cut, to, oh, about six inches. Just like that. I like the corners like this. Fold it in half, slide it through, and you have yourself a Thanksgiving tag. How cute is that? Alrighty, everybody, thanks for watching. Um, if you want uh, better instructions, again, just contact me on my website at www.cardcreationsbykim.com. Click on Contact Us. Give me your email and I'll give you all the information for this. Thanks so much. Bye.